Hey, how you doing? My name's Steve. Um, this is uh, my giant TCR Advanced. Uh, I just wanted to take a few moments uh, to go over some simple bike maintenance uh, that you can do at home, save yourself a lot of money. Uh, real simple, basic tools, and you're definitely going to save some Okay, so today we're going to change a back tire out. Uh, my tire uh, got a flat, so I'm going to teach you how to change an inner tube, but also I don't know if you can see it on here, but my tire is worn thin here. Uh, so I have gotten a brand new tire as well. So we are going to go ahead and replace the tire and the inner tube. Real simple to start. You could have a bike stand. I don't have one yet. So what I've done is just simply flip my bike over. Uh, so it's uh, nice and easy to work on. Um, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is go ahead and undo the quick release hub. If not, you'll have to unscrew a bolt if you don't have a quick release hub. You just screw it back, I like to do about three times. And then it's a simple, pull it straight up and out. And then you just take the chain off the gearing and set it back down. And then you have your rim off the bike, your wheel off the bike. And now it's time to go ahead and start with the changing of the tire itself. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is when you have your wheel and tire off the bike is you want to let all the air out of the tire. This one is flat so it's already out. Uh, simply done by unscrewing the nozzle, pushing down. If you have a mountain bike tire, uh, this changes the same way except for you might have to push the air nozzle down inside of it. Uh, road bikes typically have this type of nozzle here. Um, then you want to take your tire levers. If you don't have a set of tire levers, you definitely want to have a couple of them. Uh, real simple, you get these over at the uh, uh, bicycle shop. It makes this job uh, doable. If you don't have one of these uh, tire lever sets, I would say that uh, you're really going to be banging your head against the wall before it's all over with. So we're going to start by removing the first bead. You just simply slide it underneath the, t the bead of the tire and pull it over. Once you're here, it's real easy. You just take it and put the other one in and then I just slide it around and it's going to take that bead right off for me. And we got the first bead off. The next thing you're going to do, I think the easiest way to do it, is you're going to reach in here and you're going to pull the stem out of the tire. Sometimes it takes a little finagling, but it should be definitely be doable. Real simple. And you're going to pull that inner tube straight out. Nice and easy. Okay. And since I'm going to go ahead and be replacing the tire as well, uh, since the first bead's off, you should be able just to take and, and work the tire off real easy. So there is my tire. There is my rim. That was pretty simple. And now we're going to go ahead and get the new tire out. So there's our bike tire. All right, so now we're going to put the bike tire on the rim. Uh, you want to make sure that you put it on right because these tires run, uh, this particular tire runs at 130 pounds of pressure. Some of them run up as much as like 160 pounds of pressure. Um, so you want to make sure you got it on there seated right because it will blow right off the rim if you don't. This is the most tedious part of this process. All right, so we got the first side on all the way around, nice and easy. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and put just a little bit of air in the tube. We want it to uh, hold its shape, that way when you're putting the tire back, the inner tube back in the tire, uh, you will not pinch the tire or the inner tube, uh, causing it to get a hole in it. Then you want to find where your valve stem goes in, right there, nice and easy. We're going to go ahead and slide the valve stem in. And then I like to simply just take the inner tube and feed it up underneath the tire all the way around 
making sure that we're not bunching up at all. Nice and easy, all the way around, back at the valve stem, slide it up under there, and that's an easy one. Okay, so now we have it up underneath. Slide it all up underneath the rim, and while you're putting it up under between the tire and the rim, just make sure that you're not bunched up anywhere. These things run high pressure. So you want to make sure that you're not pinching anywhere. Okay, simple. We're back there. Okay, grab your little tire tools, tire levers. I find that at this point you can pretty much just slide it up over, pinch it down in, slide up over, pinch down in, just work your way around. You really don't need your tire tools until the very end whenever it gets a little tight on you. Sometimes you don't even need it then. All the way back to the valve stem area. Valve stem. Now it's getting a little tight. Oh, see? That time it was a real easy flip over. And then our new inner tube is in our new tire. One other thing to uh, pay attention to when you're installing your tire is that uh, these tires are directional. So they have a little arrow. You probably won't be able to see it, but there's a little arrow right here that shows uh, which way or which direction the tire is uh, spinning when it's on the bike. You want to make sure that you have that correct. All right, good. All right, next step is we're going to go ahead and put the tire back on the bike. All right, to put the tire back on the tire and wheel back on the bike, it's a pretty simple process. You just slide it back in the same way that you took it off. I find that if I take and grab the chain, pull it up over, it seems to work a little better for me. Get the chain on there first. Push it down in. Remember, we loosened it up, so now we're going to tighten it back up. About three turns. And then we're just going to lock it into place. Now if it doesn't want to lock into place, you might need to loosen it just a tad. Now that should be pretty snug. Alright, then we just give it a little spin. Okay, so you want to have a good bicycle pump. Uh, bought this one at the bike shop. Uh, it was about 30 bucks for a good one. This one actually has an arrow. This bike run, this tire runs at 130 pounds of uh, pressure. Uh, per square inch, uh, so I have this little thing, I dial it over to 130 so it's easy, and we're just going to pump it up. Now if I did the job right, the tire should stay on the rim at 130 pounds of pressure. If not, you all will have something to laugh at when this tire bops off the rim and scares the crap out of me. Still going, there's 100 pounds. Hundred and twenty. And we are at 130 pounds of pressure. Now tighten down your valve stem and we are finished.